Okay, so we're still weather bound, lots of snow on the ground. So we're going to have another lesson inside and I'm going to explain a few things to you and it'll help you. In the last lesson I showed you how to correct when you pull the arrow off, if you remember correctly. We learned how to get a stance. In the first lesson we learned how to put the bow up. We learned that when we start to pull it off and this hand cracks that we can correct by rolling our wrist. Now, much better than having to correct is not to get into the problem in the first place. The best way to draw and not pull yourself off is control of the right hand and what we do is we have the bow held on we begin to pull when it starts to go off we relax this hand a bit we slow down the pull and we're looking at the target we can see if it stays on when it stays on we pull a little bit more if it starts to come off we relax we slow down we pull a little bit more so through a series of short pulls and it doesn't have to be like I'm showing you but relax, slow down, relax, slow down, you'll be able to draw straight. Now, this is what I'm going to show you. So I'm going to look at the target. I'm going to put my bow at 45 degrees. I'm going to do my little steps. Now, when I start to draw, instead of that, what you'll see is I will start to draw. If it starts to come off, I relax. If it starts to come off, I relax. If it starts to come off, I relax. You notice how it's going all the way back real straight? Okay, so that's coordination between the left and the right hand, and it's really the right hand. Visually, again, the eye is on, I'm looking at the target, and I can tell if that arrow is straight or if it's over there. You can tell. So it starts coming back, I've got my hand open, I'm not gripping my bow, I start pulling back, and I do not pull faster than I can hold it on. I do not just jerk it. I do not pull faster than I can hold it on. That's the secret. Draw with your right hand, visually keep it there, and you can keep the control of it with your right hand. Now that's one point that's very important to take up on the draw. Now the other thing that I would say about a draw is that I prefer uh, to push from close is what I call it. So if we take the bow and we hold it away out there, the draw has to come all the way back here. All the way back there's a lot more chance that the arm will do this kind of wiggle because it has to go back, right? So if I actually draw from close which is this kind of thing so I'll put the bow up and it's right by my hand you remember I told you about the boxer you know the boxer this is our bow hand our jabber this is the one that protects our face so what we're going to do is take the boxer posture and we're going to put that hand but see how it's close to my face now when it's close to my face it's very easy to line up much more so than when it's out here okay so when it's in close to my face, I just can push it on, and it's on, and now I only have to come from here to here. I do not have to do that long draw that keeps wanting to pull itself off. So put it in close, 45 degrees, push it on, you're very close, it's very easy to line up your jaw. So. It's in close, I push it on, you see, I only have to go from there to there, pop pop, there you go, gotcha. <laughs> okay, so that's another thing, okay, so we're going to relax and pull, relax and pull, relax and pull, keeping it on, we're going to start in close because we don't have to draw very far and we can line it up easier, and after that, there's one other thing that I'd like to share with you this evening. It's a little story. 
It's a, a, a story from a Zen master. And this is how the story goes. Uh, well, you know, personally, I've always had a hard time explaining the release. Like, people say, well, just let go. Let go. Just, just let go. You know, what does that mean, you know? Anyhow, it's very hard to describe how gentle that release is. So this is the story. This is the story from the Zen master. Imagine a leaf, and the leaf is sitting there, and the snow is coming down, and a petal falls on it, and another flake, and another flake, and another flake, and the snow builds up on the leaf, and finally gravity gets to the point where it pulls the snow from the leaf, and it just goes, right? That's how gentle the release should be, just like some snow falling from the leaf very smooth. Anyhow, that's the little story that the, uh, the Zen master uh, told us. So uh, think about these things that I've been telling you. Practice it. Try keeping it on. Relax, relax, relax. Right? You know, that kind of stuff. Draw from clothes and it will help you. Anyhow, you guys go out and have some fun and I'll be talking to you later. Take care.